his birth marks really looked quite sort of severe there. Um, but he, he kind of grew into it and uh, it settled down, became part of Andrew. You, you don't notice he's got it really. She's got a Take what life throws at you. Again, it's society's problem. It's it's not yeah, it's not mine. It's about the people you meet and who you become friends with. They haven't really noticed that I've got a birth mark until I've told them. And like they say, huh, I didn't know that. It's like, well, you don't need to. <laughs> they'll they'll treat you as any other human being. They may say. There's only one thing different about you, and that's your birthmark. But you'll be like everybody else. You know, you should never judge a book by its cover. See a resemblance there? No? Well, that's my brother. We grew up in the middle of nowhere, and my mum was doing her best for us. Some people think diversity is just about the colour of your skin, and that's not an opinion I share at all. Me and my brother are two completely different people, and that's because he's him and I'm me, and that's all there is to it. I try to encourage people to look past what they see, because when I look at my brother I see a sweet, gentle person, and everyone else just sees a monster. But really he's just a human being, just like me, just like you, just like the 7.3 billion people in the world. We all bleed the same blood, it's just his is closer to the surface of his skin, and that's it. <laughs>